One thing I love about the Fop Soy Machines, and it's on the Fop Quilt Ambition 630, is how many needle positions I have, how many lines I have to follow for seam allowances, and then the included seam guide that I can put on the machine, which I wanna show you. Because oftentimes, I mean, yes, we're sewing along the edge of our fabric, you might have a pattern that calls for, say, a 5 8 inch seam allowance, and you can run it on, along there. What if your pattern is with a quarter inch seam allowance. Look right here on the little door of the bobbin case, there is a quarter inch mark. So you can even just line up your fabric along that marking right there. Of course, because this is a quilt machine, it does come with a quarter inch foot, which can also be assisted with that line as you are getting it kind of on the runway to go down and underneath your presser foot. By the way, if you do want a guide for your quarter inch foot, there is a quarter inch foot with a guide, which is nice. But this is what I use a lot of because I do so many decorative stitches that actually I love to run them parallel parallel to each other, but they're going to be inside the fabric. So of course I have to draw a line so I can sew straight, but after I draw one line, if I don't want to draw all the other lines, that is when the seam guide comes into play. And I do a lot on curves, as you've probably seen in our Fop Stitching Cosmos quilts. I'm going to show you one right now. Um, uh, after I. I'm gonna show you one after I show you how to put on the seam guide. So this screw right here is what actually opens the opening that the seam guide can come through. So as you slide that in, if it doesn't wanna go in, unscrew it a little bit further, slide it in. You can measure from the needle to the guide and see what you are wanting to get. So if it's two inches, three inches, inch and a half, you pick. Tighten that screw back up. Usually for me, it takes two fingers to kind of give it a little twist. And then I can either just use that right along the fabric. Great for hemming, or even on curtains where you kind of want that little wider hem. You're not doing little tiny hems like some garments might do. But once you sew one row of stitches, then all you need to do is come back up here, set the guide on the row you just sewed, and now you have perfectly parallel lines. So it's super easy to follow along. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this is one of the blocks from our Stitching Cosmos online course. I know it's all quilted, but this block had a ruffle inserted into the curved seam. But then we came back and stitched a decorative stitch way out here in Timbuktu. So if we put a seam guide on, this will follow along the actual seam. And then this is going to perfectly mirror that same curve as we stitched it all the way down. Now take a look at our Fop Stitching Cosmos online course. We've got 10 free videos you can check out um, and see if this course is right for you. We do over 25 different sewing techniques and feature 18 different presser feet.